When he first visited three years ago, Kevin Quinn, like a lot of people, fell in love with Vancouver's natural beauty. The mountains in the background, I'm a pretty outdoorsy guy, I'm a runner, and so uh, certainly taken by that. Fast forward to 2021, and Quinn was chosen to replace Kevin Desmond as TransLink's new CEO. It's a big, complex region, but the former head of Maryland's Transit Authority says he's working hard to get up to speed. I've taken transit, I think, just about every single weekend, you know, whether that's the SkyTrain to, to Waterfront to catch the sea bus. Uh, I took the bus uh, over to the North Shore, uh, my, fam my whole family and I, uh, my wife and my two kids. So we're a real transit family. We talk a lot about transit, and we've been out and about exploring the system quite a bit. Quinn comes into the job with TransLink facing big question marks. Coming back from a global pandemic isn't going to happen overnight. Years of record growth in ridership fueled record investments in rapid transit and bus service. But the pandemic quickly knocked daily use down 80 percent. It's slowly grown back to just under half of what it once was. But it's not clear if or when ridership will fully return, especially if more people keep working from home. I think transit is going to remain a, a very strong component of a regional multimodal transit network, um, regardless of whether we come back to exactly 100 percent or not. But if it's not 100 percent, TransLink will have to decide whether they can expand as much as it wants to to the Fraser Valley, the North Shore, and UBC. And then there are questions if their current funding model is sustainable. With ridership down, we've got to take a close look at our uh, varieties of revenues that are coming in, whether that's fare payments, uh, the gas tax. We know that people are uh, uh, driving less. We know that uh, people are switching to more fuel efficient vehicles and that gas tax isn't going to be around forever. So we've got to have a larger discussion uh, uh, about what we're going to replace that with. Like most newcomers to Metro Vancouver, though, Quinn is hopeful. I think we've got some big projects ahead of us and uh, that I'm really optimistic about the future of TransLink. Though how open the doors will be for growth, still very much to be determined. Justin McElroy, CBC News, Burnaby.